Clay, as someone who watched and studied Kobe growing up, what does it mean to pass him in any category? Um, always a huge honor. I mean, we miss him so much. He was one of one, and I, uh, he's my biggest inspiration for playing basketball. So uh, we really miss him and Gigi. Play was that second quarter uh, when you were making everything you threw up there as good as you felt out. I mean, it seemed clear that that's about as, as, as good as you felt out there. Oh, yeah. That was – I felt so dang good. And after everything I've been through, I just really appreciate nights like this. Uh, I'll be – I mean, a lot of – the shooting part is so much fun. And when you see hard work paying off, it just – it just hits different now than it then than it did a few years ago because uh you know being an athlete it can be so fragile doing what we do and it can be taken away from you in an instant when uh you know you hit your first seven when did you feel it was like going to be one of those type of avalanche is uh probably when i i mean i hit my first couple and i thought i played a great pace tonight um and i and even coming in the second half i'm proud of myself for not trying to force it you know I had 20 thinking you could have a 40 point or something crazy but I thought I played a great floor game and shared the ball and made the right plays uh, can you describe the, the when Steph threw that left-handed flip to you down court and you've got Davian Mitchell are you thinking corner all along because you took two dribbles to get there what, what was kind of the process of that now transition three yeah about half court uh I decided I was going to pull up. I was in rhythm. I made that shot. I see flashbacks in my head of making that shot before, just a one or two drill pull up from half court. And that in the past would be considered such a bad shot. But I think me and Steph kind of re redefine what a good three pointer is these days. Steph, Bob was, go ahead. I say before the game, Bob was in here. And he was asked about, you know, how he thought you looked. And he said, physically, we feel like he may be ahead of schedule. He said, the shot is going to come. <laughs> did you hear that? I did not. I was uh, getting ready for pregame. And, you know, I'm, I'm happy with the night, but I want to build off this. I want to shoot the lights out all the time. Steph called you one of your celebrations premature uh, before uh, a timeout. Did yeah. you? That was funny. Did you know Alvin was calling a timeout? Or no, I didn't. So happy he did. I'm really happy he did. That was great. You and Steph were out there with Kaminga a lot, and a lot of success with. What, what did you did you feel his game? And you feel where he's what he's doing right now? Oh yeah, I mean, I'm. I don't like the four turnovers, but to do what he did in 25 minutes, his ability to finish the rim is. Incredible. I mean, what a great athlete John is. And he's going to just keep building different parts of his game every year. But he already has the ability to dunk on anybody and rise up over the defense and finish. And his jump shot is really smooth. How are you seeing him? You know, there was a second quarter sequence where one time he sets a really nice screen for you, gets you a three. The other time he you're open and he, he shoots a three. How are you seeing him kind of – uh, learn your guys' offense and kind of how to navigate within it? I mean, it happens. Everyone gets looked off. It's just part of the game. But I see John just – he puts the work in. And to be 19 and make the impact he does on our team, it's it's incredible. I feel like he's ahead of schedule. Yeah, Clay, um, would you like to see – the Warriors do anything at the trade deadline? Is there anything you guys need? You need a big man. Uh, maybe a new washing machine. <laughs> shout shout so out no, to my pro. We, we, just um, on, uh, on, on pool playing when you don't. He's getting the starts like in back-to-backs. and um, when, when you start playing more and getting the minutes that's usual to you, um, how do you see his game adapting? And, and what do you think of him so far? I think he'll still be Jordan. And you saw what he did for us in San Antonio. The man can 
lead an offense. He can create his own shot. And he's going to be a problem for a long time in this, in this league. Uh, he's going to help us win so many games ahead. And he's a huge part of our team. He's going to lead our bench unit. And I think it's really sky's limit for JP. I have one on, one on Zoom play. Uh, Christos, go ahead. One Zoom question. Hey, Clay. Hope you're doing well. Uh, those games, those performances for you, how big confidence booster for you are at this point of the season? Confidence booster for you. Oh, yeah. yeah. Anytime you shoot the ball well, you feel that hard work paying off, uh, does wonders for your confidence. And you just got to keep building off it. And I will. I mean, I'm going to go to Oklahoma, hopefully, channel the same energy. Great. Terrific.